Business Focus with Kudzi Sharara on the Champions League Breakfast. Time. Good morning and welcome to Business Focus, where we discuss a lot of what's happening in the world of business, as always with Kudzi Sharara. Good morning, Kudzi. How are you today? Uh, good morning, Chinashe. Good morning, Patsan. And good morning, everyone. Great. Thank you so much, Kudzi. Uh, let's talk about uh, inflation today. I believe uh, the numbers came out last week on Friday, but obviously they were overshadowed by the news from the central bank. Yes, uh, the news of the devaluation of the, yeah. uh, obviously overshadowed everything. But uh, yes, uh, Zimstead released their uh, inflation figures for the mm. month of uh, of August, and obviously it's not uh, it wasn't looking pretty uh, in the month uh, because of uh, price increases across uh, across the board. When you look at um, uh, month on month inflation at mm. uh, at zero point seven percent, still still manageable. Uh, but you, when you compare it with the previous month, which was at zero point two percent, so mm-hmm. it has jumped to zero point seven percent. And then you look at year on year inflation, which was at three point eight percent in September, uh, and I'm talking about US dollar inflation. Yeah, uh, it went year on year inflation in, in in August went to 4.2 percent from 3.8 percent, and again you can see uh, these are price increases that we are witnessing in the in in the economy. And uh, as for Zig, uh, obviously on a month on month basis, uh, mm. Zig inflation rate was at uh, 5.8 percent in September, uh, gaining 4.4 percentage points uh, from 1.4 percent in the previous month. So again, uh, we are seeing. Um, uh, price increases but you know inflation uh people feel it differently depending mm. on uh, the kind of products that you buy and also depending on uh, on where you live uh as a, as a where you live in terms of for example provincial mm. uh inflation so uh which province are feeling the most in terms of uh, in terms of inflation mm. uh, out are, of the 10 provinces out of the 10 provinces okay. um, those in matebelele north uh, where their year-on-year inflation is at 7.6%. So we said mm-hmm. overall US dollar inflation is at 4.88% uh, 4. uh, uh, mm-hmm. for the uh, 4.2% for the month of September. But for m- those in Matemele North, it's at 7.6%, mm-hmm. which is uh, significantly higher than. Matemele North, we're talking about one of Vic Falls. Vic Falls, mm-hmm. yes, uh, Wange, and mm-hmm. the like. I'm not sure what's happening there. Uh, it used to be like this uh, in the past, and then it was overtaken at some point by an Marshall and Central. Mm-hmm. But now, um, Matt North is now at the top. Um, also facing high inflation is uh, those in Mat- uh, Marshall and East uh, at 7.1 percent. So, mm. so these two, uh, also Mashingo at 7.2 percent. So these three uh, above 7 percent, Ma- Mat North, Ma- Ma- Mashingo, and uh, Mash East. Yeah, they are feeling the most of inflation. And then the province where inflation is rather low than anywhere else. I think a lot of people might dispute this because I know I don't know. So Harare. That's where inflation is the lowest, actually. Year-on-year inflation, where it is at 1.9% in Arare. Mm. But I think my Arare don't change what's But, it, but could, so what are the contributing factors? I know it out is that maybe Matt North is, is feeling the pinch. So it also, it's also, there are a lot of factors. Uh, mm. It could be like, for example, uh, product range. You look at the products that are sold maybe in those areas, like in Vic Falls, for mm. example. Yeah, yeah, you want to have quality products in that because you, you know you're catering for, for, for tourists. Mm. So there could be, I imagine, margin products there. And also just the cost of doing business. Uh-huh. Right, somebody who is operating from distance there, maybe. of traveling the goods. Also, uh, mm-hmm. that 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 is also a factor, obviously. Uh, but also the fact, Yaguti, the cost of doing business. Uh, probably you you are in that area, and and the rentals are higher than than it's elsewhere. A tourist resort. And then also, if you go to Munane, you know, like like for example, if you look at uh, like Mashingo, for example, mm-hmm. you, you might see maybe there's there isn't much competition like in Harare. We in Mashingo, Ganari, Tinasha, and Ezin, Pangwendia Ega, or Vashoma Vanazo, and they can price at a certain price that they want and 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 they become expensive well, as compared to uh, as compared to to Arari, maybe there's more competition. And then there's also a factor Yakuti. Mm. Remember, Namboti, at some point in Danamash Central, Bangawa, in high inflation. So, Zunjunogon is like a cheaper. Shanga shaka cheaper in those areas, and then zoto kira shaka kuita catch up. But inflation, remember, it is the rate at which prices are increasing. Mm-hmm. So it's not like ndo kunene zinu zuku dura kufura kumwekes, but ndo kunene zinu shaka kira 
at a faster rate mm. than anywhere else. Mm. Maybe they are now catching up with prices in Harare, with prices elsewhere. So they are doing catch up. So the rate at which their prices went up was higher than in Harare where pro probably things were already expensive. So uh, the rate at which prices went up was at a slower pace than the rate at which prices went up in these other uh, markets. Mm -hmm. All right, Takuz, while we were talk yes. talking about uh, price increases and uh, inflation, um, how is the market taking the new monetary measures and, of course, what will be the likely impact on inflation? I think there's a bit of panic, uh, Tinashe. I, I, I saw people uh, sharing pictures of uh, trolleys full mm. of, 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 of basic commodities in supermarkets uh -huh. where people were trying to, as much as they can, to just pay, make sure that they, they, they do away with the, with the zig. But I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of panic because the measure has been put in place already prices have already gone up so you might panic and use all your zig unless you're anticipating it to it to worsen going forward then mm. yeah you can panic but why should you buy go and buy things that you might not necessarily need because because pa, devaluation yato it kakutara zvinhu zvato kwira ma, ma price ato adjust you already said the measure has been put in place the abu yeah to which regards it again in the measure is to devaluate as and then things are going to be stable since the the the, the bank has said to uh, devaluate and those it's it's early days uh but sunny for anyone to say to going forward this is a, this is what is going to happen i think even i was i was i was uh was it i think even when you look at the monetary policy committee statement uh, you can see that people are uh, yes they have to be positive about their measures but sometimes you, you if you then overdo it uh, even in in terms of the the analysts and media even the media uh, you you become a, you go to the extent of saying naga going forward mm -hmm. uh, we are not we are not prophets and we need to see how things are panning out just today i was just checking kuti what is happening with the exchange rate the official exchange rate mm. uh, what movements were there remember it was devalued to 24.39 and yesterday, the, the rate that they were using was 24.88. So it would be interesting to track that exchange rate to see whether there is this flexibility. But also, I think uh, I'll try and talk to treasury dealers at various banks to say mm. what sort of uh, changes have, have you put in place to ensure that there is more flexibility, there will be more flexibility in terms of uh, ex determination of the exchange rate. Mm. So we want to see whether there is that flexibility. But at the moment, even uh, prices, inflation, you, you were asking me to say what would be the impact on inflation. Mm. We, already I was hearing uh, one, one, one uh, radio station in, when I was driving here, and, uh, and they were saying on the news, uh, it was a, new, a, a news report saying that commuter minibuses have now increased their fares to 15 zig, could trip F, yeah, 50 cents, mm -hmm. yeah, at 15 zig. And yet the official exchange rate is saying it's 24, 25, and it? Mm -hmm. So I fear that for 50 cents shouldn't be a uh, 15. Mm. It should be some of another 13, 12.13. Look, I know for 12.5. But then, panel issue change. So there's that rounding off. You know, it's guy. Yeah, we say that. And if you need, we get a round off to 15 zig. But we're not going to zig. We're going to round off to 12 zig. So it's all zero. But no, the inflation figures. Pane a, a, a price increase of more than 100 mm percent -hmm. in terms of combi fares. Can I go much better to seven zig, go to fifteen zig? So that's more than 100 percent in terms mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. yeah. I saw yesterday I was trying to buy this uh, uh, pet, 500 mil. Mm. Uh, it used to go for 10 zig, or equivalent to 50 cents. Nezuru nda kampa 10 zig. For instance, ah, pashota kamwana, kamwana kamwana kavi. You can see. Half year where your man deeper, so I ended up buying it for fifteen zig, zig which means that's that's like a fifty percent uh, increase increase uh -huh. uh, uh, on, on on that one. Mm. But already you see, on uh, Wednesday and ten zig, you're getting fifty, you're getting 50, 50, 50 cents uh -huh. of which which answer official exchange rate it wasn't even that. Yeah, it was. so I think uh, already people are pricing not using the official exchange rate which is 24.88 percent as of yesterday uh -huh. but they are pricing their products using the parallel market exchange rate which is a 30 uh someone was saying 35 yesterday although in some shops they are even using a higher one 
I, I remember because you should do the forward pricing. Yeah, yeah forward pricing. <laughs> to protect my interest. Yeah, you know, 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 you the greediness. So you see it in also in business. At least there's it in business to just make uh, honest profits. Mm. Yeah. All right, Takutsi. We, um, uh, we also want to find out how did the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange yesterday performed um, and what is the likely reaction to, to the new monetary measures? Yeah, so the ZSC continued on a downward uh, trajectory. It has been coming off, albeit uh, slightly coming off, uh, with uh, losses of less than 1%. For example, yesterday, the OSHA index down by 0.64%, uh, 54% rather. Top 10 index uh, down by 0.91%. The biggest losers, FBC losing 13.04%. Echo Cash easing 6.49%. Mikos losing 5.88%. Dirtbot uh, down by 3.32% and uh, First Mutual Properties down by 2.46%. Uh, there were also some gains, uh, however, recorded. Then Nampek being the top riser with a 14.99% gain. RTG putting on 10.42%. Ariston adding 7.99%. CBZ putting on 7.76%. And then ZHL up by 6.44%. In terms of funds that were invested, not bad. Delta getting about 1.8 million ZIG, Econet 1.4 million ZIG, FBC 1.2 million ZIG, then Citgo and CBZ getting a sizable chunk of the funds that were invested. Now to come to your question to say, what is the likely impact of uh, the new measures? Mm. Uh, so when you look at the new measures as a whole, not only the devaluation, you look at uh, the, uh, the increase in interest rates from 20% to 35%, it means that it will uh, restrict borrowing, right? And uh, some, some investors or businesses might say, okay, instead of going to the bank to borrow, let me just not borrow because it's expensive. Let me go and sell some shares that I had bought in the past. So selling pressure on the ZSC. And then you look at uh, the, the, the reserve ratios that were also increased um, by, by the central bank, the reserve ratios, the money that the banks can can lend out also mm -hmm. reduced. Again, we are re, 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 restricting the amount of money that could be uh, put into the economy and obviously that again will, will affect the CDC. The, the, the devaluation obviously has made stocks cheaper. Why? Because you were before the devaluation, you were you were saying when you're looking at for example zsc stocks you're mm -hmm. saying looking at their price which were in zig and then you try and convert them into using the official exchange rate into us dollars and you come up with a certain price but now you are, in, at that time the ex official exchange rate was around 14 point now we are using a 24 point which means that the stocks have become much cheaper again mm -hmm. so for for those who are for the long term they will take this opportunity to buy low when the market is down as it is it has been coming off and it's even now cheaper so some investors might take the opportunity to be buying again back into the into the market but it also depends on the zigrato narrow area the market because the 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 monetary policy um, committee statement that was released showed that we are uh, in a uh known expansionary uh, this one i think it's contractionary so there isn't you you'd assume that there isn't much money mm. uh, that is that is available and looking for a home but uh, you know s sometimes we are told that we are implementing a a, a, a restrictive uh, monetary policy and then a, a, a month or two down the line you see that there was no there was a, a increased money supply growth and we wonder ah, Saka, we are saying to we are in a in a in a in a hawkish monetary policy uh, uh, environment mm. where you are trying to restrict the money that is out there but yet there is this significant growth in terms of money supply mm. so hopefully uh, what is said is what is then followed through through action uh, mm. going forward i know there is a question here um i know it might be beyond your 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 comments mm. but uh, for the sake of our listener us as of what maybe we just ignored it uh, it says that um will there be some compensation to those whose salaries were affected by these adjustments yeah if you start thinking about compensation uh tinashe 
there is a compensation ya kato recommend kwa kato approve kwa mm-hmm. ya kuti compensate people who lost their their money during especially my pensioners pension fund pensioners uh, so and, and pension funds were told kuti you must compensate up to now uh, I, I know we brought dr muradzi at some point mm-hmm. here and and she was really like saying kuti vanhu ngapi mari dzao yes and this and but it hasn't happened so I, I i don't think 2019 i think we lost mm-hmm. uh, we lost again yeah, value pakati mm-hmm. kwa transition mm-hmm. we lost significant uh, value there and then we introduced the zig again paka lose kwa mari zvekutodaro paka introduce kwa zig as well remember exchange rates rakango muka riri richinzi takushandisa iri to mm-hmm. make my conversions akaitwa yaya from 6000 yaishandiswa nevanhu mu streets in terms of real physical not the the the, the zim dollar for pants to 33 thousand again people uh, lost money so as uh, compensation is i i, I don't mm. think that i mean maybe in future yeah. somebody will come and say ah but people lost money just like what happened with the justice smith commission okay and the, this one says uh, is the zimbabwe gold still begged by gold and other precious minerals seeing that it was devalued by 44% at a time gold is appreciating and the other minerals are stable or appreciating as well that is a question for the arabiz governor dr yeah. shayavanu but mm-hmm. i think i think if you read the sunday mail uh, of this past sunday uh-huh. uh, i think he, he reiterated that it is begged by gold mm-hmm. so it's up to you to check his word for for it uh, but that's a question for him and the, and the, and his team to say yeah, to what extent yeah. mm-hmm. to what extent are we still begged by gold mm-hmm. and what remedies have you put in place yes the monetary policy committee statement came out but what else are you doing to make sure that the backing we can feel it but no rine huremu we we kubekwa ne ne gold so okay. it's, it's a question that they can answer at the all right hopefully you answered on that one two minutes to go kudzi but yesterday we spoke about padenga and uh, its results uh, but i do understand that more listed companies released their results as well which ones did you get a chance to look at i would have loved to talk about uh, about uh, about the report uh, mm-hmm. but given the time that is uh, that is uh, it's limited now maybe we can talk about the report maybe get a chance to bring mess now uh-huh. that they they their results are out but so let, let me talk about zim papers uh, mm-hmm. the owners of capital fm uh, in terms of how how the uh, the, the the group uh, performed you know they are into uh, newspaper division the commercial printing division mm-hmm. some people don't, don't know that uh, zim papers is into commercial printing division through nut print mm-hmm. uh, you can actually have your packaging and stuff like that printed at, at uh, by under zim papers they also have the the broadcasting division which obviously capital fm and other sister sister stations and then uh, they've got the television uh, division where you've got uh, ZTN prime uh, so looking at the at, at the at the, uh, the newspaper division uh, mm-hmm. it's not doing well uh, revenue down Uh, because of uh, significant decline in volumes uh, which declined by 16% compared uh, to the same period last year so volumes volume performance in 2023 uh, last year mm. they benefited from the national presidential and parliamentary elections so that gives they gave them more volumes but yeah so the newspaper division not doing so well mm. it has also been affected by the we are now in the digital era so there's a movement and a shift yeah. and they're trying to also uh, catch up on that one the commercial printing division that one recorded growth 4% revenue growth for the commission doing and in nanat print yeah uh, doing well there in terms of uh, in terms of revenue growth as well as uh, volumes growth the broadcasting division also however recorded a revenue decline of 7% uh, of course uh, star fm our sister station uh, did a 7% volumes growth mm-hmm. but i think uh, you've got platinum you've got capital you've got Nyam, uh, you've got the diamond, diamond. Mm-hmm. i think there that's where this uh, decline in uh, in revenue came from Uh, but I, I don't read much into decline in revenue per se because of uh, you know ma, compare my zig figures ne ma zim dollar figures eh, last year yeah, yeah. it's very difficult yeah, 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 to, to compare yeah, so you look at volumes um, mm-hmm. which again though uh, for television was down by 13 Uh, 13% in terms of volumes for the television mm. division. So that's uh, the Zim Papers numbers there. So let's talk about Daily Bond tomorrow. Yes, uh, hopefully I'll be able to convince Mess to just come and talk about her results yeah. herself. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, the look forward to that. The chair is already open, so they are, they'll be coming tomorrow. 
Yes. So we talk about it. Thanks so much, Kudzi, for business focus for today. Uh, we discuss more tomorrow as we say it. Good day to you. Thank you. Business focus with Kudzi Sharara on the Champions League breakfast.